Hi, this is my prediction for the middleweight contest between Matthew Macklin and Joachim or Joaquin um, Alsign of Canada this weekend at Las Vegas. I think that Matthew Macklin definitely wins this one. Um, I sound quite confident even though really this is only Macklin's third fight at world level because he got his title shot against Felix Sturm a year or so ago and that was his step up to, to um, step up to world level because before that he'd been fighting domestic level fights and European level fights and then he just got his title shot on the off chance and he did really really well against Felix Sturm arguably winning on some people's um, cards and then after that he was lucky again because he got a title shot against Sergio Martinez so this is so Alcine is his third good fight on the trot like world level fight on the trot so it, I can see why some people wouldn't be so confident I think that Macklin does win because Alcine is now 36 years old he's in the twilight of his career he was a light middleweight world champion but not one of the elite um, but he was a champion a few years back but those days are now gone um, he's been stopped twice one of them was in the first round um, who was that to? Uh, to Alfredo Angulo but Macklin is nothing like Alfredo Angulo in that Angulo could get first round knockouts because he was a bit of an animal when um, back a few years ago when he was you know in his prime because he hasn't fought for a while now um, but Macklin I, th the main reason I think Macklin wins is because from the fights I've seen of Alcine against guys like David Lemieux, Eric Mitchell and a few others he fights on the back foot he sticks his jab out a lot, he jabs to the body a lot, he jabs to the head a lot he keeps his right guard up and he he does things quite, you know, naturally. He's quite talented. Uh, he also throws in some big right hands. Um, he doesn't. He doesn't know how to box. He's just a bit, you know, old now. Macklin, I think, will do something which those fighters didn't do, and that is pressure him all night long. I don't think that Macklin's going to give him much room to move. So I don't think his perpetual jabbing and even his big rights and all of this. I don't think it's going to trouble Macklin as much as it did trouble someone like David Lemieux. Um, Macklin isn't a headhunter like David Lemieux. So Lemieux, it has been proven that he can be outboxed by guys like Alcine and by um, uh, Rubio. Um, Macklin isn't going to be going in for just those headshots, those big headshots. Macklin's going to be going to the body, to the head. He's going to be pressuring. I think he's going to tie him up a lot. So I think this is going to be quite a boring fight. I don't think it's going to be a fight of the year contender. I think it will be quite a drab affair. I think Macklin will smother the movement of Alcine all night long. I don't. I think um, Alcine's jab is going to be quite good uh, for much of the fight. And I think he's going to have some success. But I still think Macklin wins. I think Macklin wins, I would say, a decision because... Uh, like I said, Macklin, is, he's not the most powerful boxer in the world and he does have good stamina, so he can go the distance. But because Alcine has been stopped a few times and Macklin is better than some of those fighters, I think he's better than David Lemieux and um, maybe not better than Angulo, though, I'm not sure. Uh, so I think that Macklin probably gets a stoppage. So I'm going to say Macklin wins by the 8th round. Round 7 or 8 is my prediction. But even if he does go the distance, I think it's quite good to get those rounds under his belt um, at world level. But I think he's good enough to get to force a stoppage. All right.